Today, let's talk about keeping the Word of God. And I want to speak to you from Psalm 119, verses 167 and 168, where we read this. My soul longs for your testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies, for all my ways are before you. It is a blessed thing to hear and to understand the Word of God. It's a more blessed thing to obey and to live the Word of God. I would say this, it is a yet more blessed thing to keep God's Word in the soul, in the innermost being of a man or a woman. This was the statement of the psalmist in that great and long Psalm 119. At verse 167, he wrote, My soul keeps your testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. This means that the psalmist kept the word of God, not only with his outward actions, but also with his soul. His love and conformity to the word of God was deeply rooted. It wasn't superficial. To whatever degree that was true of the ancient psalmist, it should be even more true, or perhaps I should say truer of the believer under Jesus and his new covenant. You see, as part of that covenant, we are made new men and women, and we have a nature that is patterned after Jesus Christ. That new nature has a bias, and that's to keep the commandments of God. It's our job to live and walk according to the new man or woman that God has made us in Jesus Christ. So we learn from when the psalmist continued, I keep your precepts and testimonies for all my ways are before you. For the psalmist, the knowledge that all my ways are before you prompted obedience. He knew that the God who gave the word also observed his life. This was in contrast to the many people around him who lived as if God did not observe all ways of a man. Before the religious leaders of Jesus' time beat his face, they covered his face. You'll find that in Mark chapter 14, verse 65. Symbolically, the hypocrite does the same thing. Before he disgraces Jesus with his manner of living, he forgets that Jesus sees everything. And that makes a man bold to sin against Jesus. Yet, knowing that truth, that all my ways are before you, helps keep us pure before God. You see, in these two verses, we note, wrote the repetition of focus. He says, your precepts, your testimonies before you. Friends, this reminds us that the psalmist's great love for the scriptures was not in isolation, but rather it was a natural outgrowth of his love for God. It was because the Bible gave him God's word that he loved it so much. Hey, so should we. Spend some time devoting yourself to God and his word and to keeping his word and do it today.